I was asking the rabbi who God is and, and some of my teachers who God is and my, my friends of all kinds of different friends who God is. You know what I never really did? I never really asked God who he is. I had the privilege of being born and raised in a conservative Jewish home, shul every Shabbat. I became a bar mitzvah when I was 13. Some of the Gentile kids came by and they said, you guys are Jews, right? And I said, well, yeah, yeah. yeah. He goes, well, you guys are Christ killers. You killed my God. I, I didn't know what they were talking about. I didn't understand what was going on. Charging me with killing their God was, uh, you know, was very upsetting to me. I remember I went to this high school, and it was a Christian high school. Now, when I got to that school, I saw something I'd never seen before. I saw people really walking around and talking like they really loved God and, and loved people even like me. They made it obvious that it was the reason that they loved me because God loved them. And hearing that, it kind of made me think about my own need for God. Right near the school was an Orthodox Hasidic Lubavitch rabbi. And I thought, well, I'm Jewish, of course. Where else would I go to learn about God but to the rabbi? He would teach me some Torah, some Talmud about the Jewish festivals, and uh, was really learning a lot. But I was also learning some things at the school which I'd never heard before. I learned that um, Jesus was Jewish. And I'd learned that all his disciples were Jewish. And I learned that uh, the New Testament was written by Jews, with the possible exception of Luke and Acts. As I started learning more and more about the Jewishness of Yeshua, it kind of really piqued my interest and started tugging on my heart. If I'm really going to search for God, if I'm really going to try to get to know God better, at least I ought to check out these claims. So I went up to some of these uh, Christians that I knew, you know, the ones with all the love in their heart, and, uh, and I said, do you want to start a Bible study looking at prophecies in the Hebrew scriptures about the Messiah. And they said, absolutely. If Yeshua is Moshiach, it certainly would say so in the Hebrew scriptures. And Isaiah and Jeremiah and Psalms and Zechariah, as we're looking at all these places, I'm thinking, my goodness. And then we got to a passage which I found really interesting. It was Isaiah 53. And I read that and I'm thinking, this has to be about Yeshua. And so I went to the rabbi and I said, Rabbi, look at these prophecies. It sounds like it's describing Yeshua. And the rabbi got a little upset and he says, no, no, it's not describing Yeshua. It's, it's talking about Israel. I saw that it couldn't possibly be talking about Israel. Israel just didn't fit the prophecy. And I went back to the rabbi the next week and I said, Rabbi, look at this. It couldn't possibly be talking about Israel. And he got a little bit more upset with me. And he said, I didn't say it was about Israel. I said, it could be about Israel. And he goes, I don't know what it's about. I just know it's not about this Jesus. For almost two years, I kept going back and forth from the rabbi to the Bible study, and the rabbi and the Bible study. And the rabbi thought I was totally lost. And the Bible study thought I was totally lost. It's probably because I was totally lost. Jewish people, I, th I thought to myself, don't believe in Yeshua as the Messiah? How would my family react? Not good. How would my Jewish friends react? Not good. And then I realized what I was doing. I was asking the rabbi who God is and whether Yeshua is the Messiah and the Bible study and some friends and all these different people who God is. I never really asked God who he is. I never really asked God to reveal himself to me in a way where I can truly understand who he is. So on May 3rd, 1981, about 10 a.m., I did just that. I got down alone in my dorm room, and I picked a verse I was both in the Hebrew Scriptures and the Newer Covenant. The verse is, Seek and ye shall find. And I said, Lord, for almost two years I've been seeking. Is Yeshua the Jewish Messiah? And all I can say is this. At that point, I just knew. All my questions, all my arguments, everything just faded away. I just knew that he is Moshiach. I never felt more Jewish. Because what can be more Jewish than believing in the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, the God of Moses, the God of David, the God of Jeremiah, the God of Isaiah, the Jewish Messiah, Yeshua?